Welcome to a new episode of Loomer Unleashed. I'm your host, Laura Loomer, and on this episode of Loomer Unleashed, we're going to focus on three of Ron DeSantis's bloviations and broken promises. The first one, Ron DeSantis's promise to deliver open carry to the state of Florida. For years now, Governor Ron DeSantis has been falsely portraying the state of Florida as a pro-Second Amendment state. Our state actually isn't so strong on guns. You see, here in the state of Florida, even though we have Republican senators, a Republican governor, and a Republican legislature, we have red flag laws that were introduced and supported by these same Republican politicians. Ron DeSantis himself in the aftermath of Parkland said that he supports red flag laws and said that we need to be monitoring people's online activity more so that we can better determine whether that person should be red flagged. You would think that it would be easy to get open carry and constitutional carry passed in the state of Florida with a Republican-controlled legislature, but when pressed on why the Republican legislature hasn't yet passed open carry, Ron DeSantis decided to dodge the question and said that he would pass anything related to open carry and constitutional carry if it were put on his desk, but he failed to put pressure on the legislature to encourage them to get the job done. Broken promise number two, breaking up the big tech social media companies and making it illegal for them to censor political candidates for office in the state of Florida. Now, this broken promise is quite personal to me, and it's actually one of the main reasons why I was soured on Governor Ron DeSantis. You see, I voted for Governor Ron DeSantis in 2018, and I participated in the recount when his election was going to be stolen by the Democrats and Andrew Gillum and the crooked supervisors of elections in Broward and Palm Beach County. But when I really started to realize that Governor DeSantis was a professional bull artist is when he went on Fox News and said that it was going to be illegal in the state of Florida for the big tech social media companies to be censoring political candidates for office. Protect big tech from interfering in an election. And that may mean you displa- you deplatform a candidate you don't like. Uh, two guesses as to which type of candidate big tech wouldn't like. Uh, but it also means uh, uh, doing the algorithms in a way that will suppress stories or accelerate them to benefit a candidate. That's effectively an in-kind contribution. Well, I think I would know if this legislation had passed, given that I was the first deplatformed candidate in United States history, and I ran for Congress in 2020 and 2022 as an America First Republican in the state of Florida. And not only did Governor Ron DeSantis stay silent as my campaign was the only campaign denied access to social media, but he also did the same in 2022 when I ran for Congress, despite saying that we had this new piece of amazing legislation in the state of Florida that would fine these companies. Censorship is alive and well here in the state of Florida. Not only were these companies not fined for what they did to me in 2020, but they were never fined or held accountable in 2022 when I remained the only deplatformed candidate in the country and the only deplatformed candidate in the state of Florida. But DeSantis decided to stay silent because, as I said, he's a showboater and a professional bull artist. Broken promise number three, going after the Disney groomers and breaking up the Disney special district. How many of you remember over a year or so ago when the media pretended to go to war with Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney went to war with Governor Ron DeSantis over his parental rights and education bill? Now, this was a piece of legislation that I originally supported. I even staged a protest outside of Disney World in Orlando where I had signs calling them groomers for trying to advocate for the sexualization of children children in the public school system. He went on a media tour and he said that he was going to dissolve Disney's special district. He said that he was going to get rid of their tax exempt status and that they would actually have to pay the $578 million in taxes that they would otherwise owe. How is Disney responding? Well, coming soon to Florida, Disney just announced that they're going to be hosting the largest LGBTQ summit ever in the state of Florida at Disney. Clearly, Disney isn't afraid of Governor Ron DeSantis, right? He likes to hoot and holler and pretend like he's such a strong warrior for the culture war, but at the end of the day, he caves. And if you look at his FEC reports, you'll see that Governor DeSantis has accepted over $100,000 from Disney. Don't just listen to the lies spewed by politicians online and on social media when they tell you that they've accomplished things that one, they never accomplished, and two, never actually had the intention of accomplishing in the first place. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to receive more reports like this, please be sure you subscribe to my Substack, lauralumer.substack.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Truth Social, Gab, and Getter at Laura Loomer to receive all of my exclusive updates. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's episode, freedomlawschool.org. 
It's tax season, and if you want to find ways to keep as much of your paycheck as possible instead of turning it over to the weaponized IRS, then contact the good folks at freedomlawschool.org and tell them that Laura Loomer sent you. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Loomer Unleashed. See you next time.